Good day to you and welcome to this A-level presentation on the lactic acid system. Uh, my name is James and I'm going to take you through this particular session. Look, I'm really looking forward to this one because I find, I find this topic a really interesting one. You should already have a good understanding of how the ATP PC system works. If you haven't studied that already, go back to that first energy system and study that before we move on here. There's a couple of assumptions I'm going to make, but I want to start off by giving you some examples of when we can say clearly the lactic acid system is in evidence within sports. So I've chosen three effectively. There are many others. I've chosen what we would consider to be a full court press in basketball. This is the idea that you know, rather than the defending team dropping off and staying in its own half of the court, waiting for the other team to attack, you press really high at the court, high intensity, moving all the time, trying to get the ball back all the way up the court. We call that a full court press in basketball. I'm also going to relate to a uh, 400 meter running. We've got uh, an image here of um, Felix Sanchez, who's doing 400 meter hurdles. You can by all means choose the example of just 400 meter sprinting, for example. But in this event, you know, a bit like a full court press might last for uh, a minute to two minutes, for example. Whereas here, again, the 400 meter hurdles, just shy of a minute is sort of the elite time there. So we're starting to think about the duration of the lactic acid system as being something related to roughly a minute and here we've got what we might refer to as open play in rugby now rugby is a very stop start game certainly rugby union anyway open play in rugby but when the ball doesn't go out when there aren't penalties conceded when there's advantage being played and, and the ball is recycled over and over and over again athletes the rugby players begin to accumulate this lactic acid and the game begins to slow down there's fewer big hits people get to the breakdown less so open play in rugby is a good example of the lactic acid system in operation so you know any of those examples and you may well be able to think of your own of your own so we also want to remember that the role of the lactic acid system is to resynthesize atp to resynthesize to resynthesize ATP. That's what it's there for. And we also know already that the 